Today I'm going to show you how to make crochet scrunchies. These scrunchies are beginner friendly and they use small amounts of yarn so they're a great stash busting project and they work up really quickly. So what you'll need is about 80 yards of DK weight number 3 yarn and I used Lime Brand True Boo and I highly recommend using this yarn for this project because it's really soft and when you're making scrunchies you want a really soft yarn so that it's not going to create any breakage in your hair. And you will need an E 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Together, I like to use two thin ponytails together because then the scrunchie won't stretch, won't overstretch. And in the instance where one would break, then you would still have that other one in the scrunchie. But you can also use one thick one if you like. You will also need a tapestry needle and some scissors. So to begin, make a slip knot. So take the tail of the yarn, wrap it around your finger so you create an X, and then pull the tail through that loop, but not all the way. You just want to create a loop like that. Insert your hook into the loop and then pull on the tail to make the loop smaller. So now we're going to chain 10. So to chain, yarn over, so wrap the yarn around the hook, and then pull through that loop on your hook. And that is one chain. And you're going to want to make 10 of these. Alright, so I have 10 chains, so I'm going to take my ponytail holders, and again, I'm using two thinner ones together. Wrap the chains around the ponytail holders like this, and you want to be careful not to twist the chains. So into that first chain, work one slip stitch. So insert your hook into the chain. yarn over and then pull back through that chain and that loop on your hook and this creates the circle so now chain one and in every chain we're going to work one single crochet so insert your hook into that next chain yarn over pull back through the chain so you should have two loops on your hook yarn over, pull through both loops, and that is your first single crochet. So continue working one single crochet in every chain around. All right, so I'm back around. This is the first round. So into that very first single crochet, in the back loop only of that first single crochet, we're going to work another single crochet. So again, just in that back loop. And then again into the next stitch, work one single crochet into the back loop only. 
And this is pretty much the pattern for the scrunchie. You're going to continue working one single crochet in the back loop only until you have about 85 rounds. And you're not going to keep track of the rounds by using a stitch marker or joining because the rows are so small and because you're making a lot of them, it's not necessary to keep track. So if you're off one or two rounds, that's totally fine. It does not make a difference. All right, and this is after about 85 rounds. So to finish off the scrunchie, make a slip stitch. And then you can cut your yarn. And you wanna leave about a 12 inch tail for sewing the two ends together. All right, then you can just pull on that tail to close that. So now take your needle and then thread the yarn through the eye of the needle. The tail on the other side, you can just tuck that in just to get it out of the way. Then you don't have to weave in later. So we're going to sew these two ends together. So work the needle through one of the stitches on one side and then through the stitch on the other side. And then you can pull that through. And we're gonna keep weaving back and forth to close that and it's all the way around. All right, and this is what it should look like. As you can see, it closes it really nicely. All right, once you are all the way around, weave the needle through the scrunchie about a couple inches just to weave in that end and then pull it through. And then you can cut it. There you go, you are all done. That is how you make a beginner friendly crochet scrunchie. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more free crochet videos.